Now to the latest on the coronavirus and the new Delta variant that's highly contagious. So contagious that health experts say one in every five new cases of COVID-19 in the U.S. is the Delta variant. This is the, the most uh, transmissible of all the variants that we've seen. And we, and we saw what happened in the U.K. where it overtook the entire nation. So I'm worried that's going to happen in the U.S. Kent Justice is joining us now with a look at how the variant is tearing through European countries. But we begin with news for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley. Kelly, U.S. health officials are concerned this Delta variant could cause a resurgence of COVID-19 nationwide. Yeah, new research suggests that the Delta variant is on track to become the most dominant strain in the United States of COVID-19. Public health experts are warning this strain is more severe and more transmissible. A coronavirus variant first identified in India has now been discovered in nearly every state in the U.S. Public health experts say the Delta variant is 60 percent more transmissible than the original strain of the virus. The Delta variant is currently the greatest threat in the U.S. to our attempt to eliminate COVID-19. New research found the Delta variant is growing faster in counties with lower vaccination rates. Still, U.S. health epidemiologist Chad Nielsen says research shows the vaccines in the U.S. can fight off this strain, too. The number one thing I think viewers need to know is if you fear the Delta variant, you need to get vaccinated because our vaccines that we have here in the U.S. market are, are effective against it. The number of vaccine doses administered in Florida has been declining in recent weeks. The Biden administration announced Tuesday it expects to fall short of its goal to vaccinate 70 percent of Americans by July 4th. And foot traffic at some of the state sponsored vaccination sites, those pop ups that are still hanging around town, have a much lower turnout than what we saw months and months ago. Chad Nelson with UF Health says that right now, as far as hospitalizations, the vast majority are Jacksonville residents who are unvaccinated.